Vivek Vaidya is Director of Auto and Transportation Asia Pack at Frost and Sullivan. He joins me here in the Lion City. What's really happening with the uh, Japanese car makers? I think it's hard to explain. Uh, so far, we have always known Japanese companies as the icon of quality. Uh, it's really unfortunate and it's, it's really tough times for, for Japanese automakers ahead. For Toyota in particular, with the recall of the Prius, is it going to be uh, the nail in the head? Uh, I nail in the coffin? Uh, no, I wouldn't say that. I, I think uh, Prius uh, recall has expanded their woes from in a, into a different segment. Until now, uh, Prius is, was the best sold vehicle in Silicon Valley. Probably that particular segment was isolated. With Prius recall coming, um, you know, even that segment has got included in the recall. So, uh, and another problem with the Prius recall is also that it was being seen as a product that gives them that technological edge, gives them that green credentials. Any problem in that would be very, very hard for Toyota to digest. Can Toyota be saved? Of course, of course. How? I think, I think. Uh, it's been uh, very slow in reacting. Uh, uh, yeah, in a way, uh, they have uh, they have made mistakes. They have made mistakes in accepting the problem. They have made mistakes in uh, coming up with a solution. They have made mistakes in communication. But uh, you know, it's it's not right to write uh, you know write off Toyota. They, they are a company which which very strong processes, very strong systems. I'm hundred percent sure that they will come out of this. Um, uh, the product problems they would be resolved uh, in in uh, sufficient time. And I don't think there are any worries on that account. What uh, what I would be more worried about is so far Toyota had this you know bulletproof image. You know this company can can do no wrong. That image would now take a severe beating. Now uh, you know that that aura around Toyota is is not really there. They would be treated as any other company, and now onwards, it would be hard for them to differentiate themselves because now quality, durability, safety of almost all the uh, uh, brands is almost you know equal. That aura is lost, so it would be hard for them to differentiate themselves. If that's the case, how long before Toyota can regain its status as a company that reflects the quality that is uh, you know viewed as uh, a benchmark for the industry? I think we have a long way to go there. Because, What's a long way? A couple because, of years? Uh, no, I think uh, for them to regain their reputation can take longer. But I think the first near-term problem is, number one, Toyota has to come out clean and say that everything that we know of is, is this, and this is how we are going to resolve it. Uh, number two, they have to start regaining, you know, fix the problems, start gaining customer confidence, start gaining uh, uh, the marketing and PR campaigns right, and slowly build it up from scratch. It's like they are back to the square one, they are back to the undifferentiated Toyota that was, uh, that existed a few years ago, and they have to start building it uh, again. How much will this impact Toyota's earnings going forward? It's a huge impact. I think uh, there are several aspects to it. There is a direct cost. There is a loss of sales. Uh, you know, even even if, uh, uh, let's say, a market like India, a market like China, a market like Singapore is not impacted by the recall, but uh, the global media is spreading the news everywhere, and even if there is nothing wrong with the vehicle, the customers are likely to stay away from it just, just because there is a recall in some part of the world. So there is uh, there are a lot of direct costs. There are a lot of indirect costs as well. Uh, you'll see that Toyota resale prices uh, of, of used car prices will will go down. The competitors might offer some soft incentives to take the customers away. So it's going to be a huge impact uh, on their uh, bottom line. Fair to say that U.S. car makers will benefit from uh, Toyota struggles. Of course, of course. I which think, ones in particular? I think Ford is the one which will gain the best. Uh, they have their product. Uh, model lineup in place now. They have uh, hybrid cars, they have fuel efficient cars. So, uh, in American car makers, Ford will gain the most. Hyundai will gain as well because they are on the upswing. Last year in the US market, they were the only company which showed uh, year on year gains in spite of the market um, falling by about 30%. So, Hyundai will also show a lot of gains. Uh, and other company, except for this recall, I would have said Honda, but now, you know, even that looks a bit tougher. So uh, Ford and Hyundai definitely would gain from 
from this. Right now, Honda has its own problems. Vivek, we'll leave it there. Vivek Vaidya, Frost and Sullivan, thank you so much.